Hello my fellow scientists, today I would like to talk about image analysis tools. So I've got two pieces of free software that I'd like to share. The first is ImageJ, which is the NIH funded image analysis tool. So it's great for doing things like measuring the intensity of some pixels from a microscope image or from a gel image, from a gel imager or from a digital camera. The other tool is kind of the poor man's Photoshop. It's called the GNU Image Manipulation Program or GIMP. A good tool for cropping, resizing, and even adjusting the contrast of photographs. You have to be careful to use it ethically, and I'll talk a little bit about how to do that. Let's run the GIMP. This is freely available at GIMP.org. You can drag and drop a file onto the GIMP window or drag and drop it onto the little fox icon in the upper left. We can use the rectangle select tool or marquee select tool to select a bunch of pixels and hit image crop to reduce the borders. We can also resize the image using image resize and set a lower resolution. That can be useful for sharing smaller sized images. I can open up the original again and show you the curves tool which allows us to adjust essentially the brightness and contrast in a visual format so translating uh, dimmer pixels to brighter pixels for instance. And you can see the difference here between these two images. They came from the same source but one of them was scaled down and so it has a lower resolution, a lower number of total pixels, that's the one on the right, and a higher number of pixels on the left. Even though they look the same on the screen, they are in fact very different in terms of their total data content. Now, In addition to making brightness and contrast measurements ethically, that is to say using the whole image in a linear scale, you can do that incorrectly, unethically, by making this non-linear scaling and selecting part of the image that would be not okay in terms of scientific data, but I show it for the sake of illustrating what not to do. ImageJ is a scientific image processing program that lets you do things that the GIMP or Photoshop can't do, such as selecting a bunch of pixels and measuring them. So it's Control M to measure or under Analyze Measure, and we can drag that little box around and measure a bunch of different uh, blocks of pixels for their total area and their average intensity. We can also take all that data, select all, copy, and bring it over to Excel where we can paste that in to do further analysis. You can also get a line of pixels by drawing the line tool and going to profile and that gives you a grayscale value for every point along that line where these two peaks are these two uh, bands in the gel in this case. And we can take that profile of a more complicated series of pixels and then you can compare those in a sort of uh, intensity versus distance graph instead of a image format. You can also do brightness and contrast in the ImageJ program. What's nice about that is it won't let you do things that are less ethical such as the selection of a non-linear interpolation. So I hope you found that useful. I hope that you can find great places to use these tools in your research or in your projects. Uh, if you like that kind of thing, tune back in next week. We update every week on tools for science, on scientific results and scientific literature right here in the Allen Lab.